So, I'm late to the party and finally watching Bodyguard and I think I'm pregnant after just looking at Richard Madden, which is something that does happen and you must be careful. Karaoke loving it, mate. Loving it. Loving well, you're in fine voice. Thanks very much. I did try. Let's have a look at your hat. It's only rocket, man. rocket man. And I'm gonna be high. Golden glow. It's real. Wait, is it engraved yet? No, I'm gonna go do that now. You're gonna go engrave it right now? Yeah. Can we come with you? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like 20 minutes. <laughs> we're gonna do it. We're so do proud it. of you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Come on. Anyways, random thought, but I would let Jon Snow take me from my mouth and Rob Stark from behind, even if they don't shower. I'm worried about you. The royal baby is arriving at the same time as the new season of Game of Thrones. You cracked it! Um, no, that actually just has nothing to do with anything. So beautiful. You recording? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen. No, no. <laughs> she just that girl! Don't move, don't move, don't move! If it means anything, we have a tree. How are you? That was incredible. I can't compete. <laughs> I can't compete. I'm sorry, Richard. Stand by and shoot. No. When boredom took place on the set of Naked Apes, Rhys Thomas took to cruising in the bushes for rough trade. Let's go and discover him. Let's go and call him out on it. Hey Rhys! Hey Rhys, any boys in there? You're fucking cruising for rough trade again. I had a little wee wee. Stop doing it on no, set, mate. Happened. We're working. Yeah, well, David and Dan play tricks on us sometimes as uh, well. They pretend like... They'll, uh, they'll write a scene that yeah. um, just your character just abruptly dies. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you kind of read it and you're like, what? And then you have to try and work out. And they did a really good one last year yeah. with Alfie, where they, they, they wrote a whole episode where Alfie was killed um, by Bran on the back of Hodor. And, uh, and then Alfie read it, but David and Dan, they'd got in touch with all the actors <laughs> and with his representation to make sure that everyone believed that Alfie was going to die and he got it and he was like all right okay well then that's just how things go and they like, went along with it and then he was quite relieved when he found out that it wasn't true. <laughs> Richard Madden can run me over with a bus and I'd still suck that dick. Um, in that order. I will turn up alive in season two and pregnant um, which would be great but she's definitely very very Who would he haunt? I mean, it would have to be Joffrey, just because we all hate him. But in my head, I was just going to say Jon Snow, because I'd like to just come and annoy Kit for a while. with the fairy tale of Cinderella. Okay. Huh? Um, so what do you think is in there that makes it relevant and nice for modern audiences? Although it's a very classically mm. told fairy tale, let's say. I think it is. It's, it's really classically, traditionally, magically told. But I think what's in there that's different to the animation is in the animation we have, you know, a kind of a damsel in distress and a, a young man who comes in and saves the day. And in this version, um, it's, it's not like that. You have a, a very strong, brave woman who's been dealt a lot of really bad cards in life, and you have a young man who is a bit lost at points and and is trying to work his way through life just like she is, and they kind of rescue each other, which I think is a much more modern version of the story rather than a kind of almost sexist version from from the, the 50s of, you know, man comes in and saves the day. I think she saves him as much as he saves her. Tonight's question goes to... Um, I guess whoever wants to answer it on the couch. Um, have you ever had the compulsion uh, to uh, 
dissect uh, a form of technology that you don't understand? Not since the accident. <laughs> 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 Richard Madden existing is a thirst trap. Is that a genre of music or a thirst trap? I'm going to take it as a good thing. Bodyguard is brilliant, thank you very much. Roxanne Rees, I honestly have no idea what the hell is going on and I'm usually the best detective there is. I don't know if not knowing what's going on makes something brilliant, but if it does, then, you know, my life's brilliant. Thank you very much. This is a new experience for you. What does it mean for you to win this award? You kind of constantly question yourself as an actor if you're good enough or if you're, if you're kind of real enough or if you're deserving of anything. And, and that's a constant thing that you're doing to yourself is kind of uh, questioning your ability. And to even to be nominated was like a real confidence boost in terms of thinking, I, I am doing this, I can do this. And then I've won it. So <laughs> I'm kind of blown away by it because, you know, you kind of, I've been, you know, acting for 20 years and, and, and never thinking you're, you're good enough, I suppose. And then to receive something like this is just a real, I suppose it's a wake up call to me to be like, believe in yourself more because other people do. <laughs> Thank you. A big moment. It's a big moment. Rich. Hold on, wait, wait. Three. We can't count down, but yeah, we want, we want a speech we as well. Speech. <laughs> it's not going to be a speech. Okay, there's a countdown. Honest eternal lives. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about Richard Madden on my flight and my nipples got hard, which might have just been the aircon, to be fair. Eyes <laughs> camera there. Jamie, just one to camera there. I'm having a sink for Come on. Big smiles because it's all finished. Thank you. And I think it's going to be a long, long time. Richard. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you caught me. You caught me. Man. It's, it's a female centric story, and we've seen a couple of those these past couple of years. So, is it, is it a good idea to put super heroines, although you know, it's in, a, in a princess dress, mm. on screen for a young uh, audience? Absolutely, I think so. I think that's really important. You've got things like the Hunger Games that are doing that as well. I think not only is it important for, for young women to be empowered. And, uh, and kind of be inspired by that, but also for young men to be respecting women. And I think these pictures um, teach young men and women lots about that, which is important. What do you think of the psychology of the wicked stuff? We're going to need a season two of Bodyguard with Louise and David hooking up. I mean... Because it's not just the, what you do with your hands. <laughs> it could go... Wrong. It's not just what you do with your hands, it's the confidence that you do it with. <laughs> and I'm still talking about pickpocketing. Just, just moving on, right? Because it's about to go. I see moving what's on. happening. Oh, I see what's happening. So let's lunch. talk about Paris. <laughs> this is obviously, this film shows a different side of Paris, uh, a, a, a grittier side, isn't it? I mean, how was it filming on location? And um... Why is the Scottish accent hard to do, do you think? I think because we don't use consonants. Um, it's just vowel sounds. A I O U, A I O U. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, and Scottish people, a lot of Scottish people tend to to speak without moving the mouth at all. It's really hard because you can move your eyes and not say anything. Um, Does the raven feather turning to ice symbolise Bran becoming the Night King? A yes, B no, C my head hurts. C my head hurts. I mean, I can't keep up with these theories, you guys. They're brilliant, but I just don't know what's going on anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like noise off camera. Like no, noise off camera. I'm easily distracted. I bang to right to <laughs> Richard's very calm and measured. He's not easily not 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 easily flapped. He's un unflappable. Unflappable. He will be on the red carpet. Oh, Paris! 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 Paris!